Today I'm going to show you how to inoculate a liquid culture. Sometimes when you're working with bacteria, it is easier to have a liquid culture than to have to scrape bacteria off of a plate. So before you begin working with your bacteria, you want to clean your work surface with 70% ethanol. To make a liquid culture, you will need a tube of liquid media that will sustain the growth of your bacteria, as well as your culture that you want to inoculate, an inoculating leaf. So the first thing you want to do is you want to label your tube that you are inoculating your culture into. So to do this, you can just take a piece of tape and write the name of your strain on the piece of tape along with your initials and your date so that we can keep track of the bacterial cultures. And it's very important that when you apply the label to your culture that you apply it to the tube itself because the cap could get separated from the tube. So once you have your tube labeled, you're ready to ignite your Bunsen burner. Okay. So to inoculate the liquid culture, you need to use a sterile inoculating loop. You can sterilize your inoculating loop by holding it in the flame at a slight angle until the wire becomes red hot. Now when working with liquid cultures, it's really easy to contaminate the neck of the tube with the inoculating loop. So it's very important to run the top part of the wire uh, through the flame just to burn off any dust that might fall into the culture. When working with from a solid culture, from a a culture of, that's growing on auger, you want to leave the lid of the auger plate on the bench so that you can easily just with one hand lift up the auger section of the plate to grab your colony before inoculating. So since I flamed and uh, sterilized my inoculating loop, it might still be hot. So before grabbing a single colony, I need to cool the loop. Now it's really important when inoculating liquid cultures to grab a single well-isolated colony because once the bacteria is growing in liquid culture, you won't be able to see if there's contamination. It doesn't take a lot of bacteria to inoculate a liquid culture. So you can grab a single colony and then place the plate on the table. So when working with this, the easiest way to inoculate a liquid culture is once your bacteria is on the loop, is to remove the lid of the tube using your pinky and ring finger. You then can hold the to holding the tube in your left hand, you can run the neck of the tube through the flame just to burn off any dust before putting the loop into the media. Now remember, this loop contains a small sample of bacteria from a single well-isolated colony. You then just wiggle the wire around in the liquid media. And then when you remove the wire, you once again pass the neck of the tube through the flame and recap the tube with the cap in your right hand, and then you can set it down. And of course, when you're done working with your culture, you simply flame your loop and get it red hot to sterilize it before you set it down on the bench. And that is how you prepare a liquid culture.